Hey everyone, Kaluin here, and welcome to another edition of My Gaming Landscape, awesome. where I talk ah, about the video games uh, that I've been playing for usually a week, but this time it's going to be for the past three weeks. It has been three weeks since I've recorded one of these, and so mostly it's because I haven't been playing a lot of different video games, and I haven't been playing a lot of the video games that I've been playing, so I didn't have really a whole lot to talk about. But I now do, so... Let's get right into it. Today, we're going to be talking about Tomb Raider 1, yes, the original, Borderlands 3, Mortal Kombat 11, Borderlands 1, Devil May Cry HD, WWE 2K20, Real Bout Fatal Fury, Mortal Kombat 1, and Sonic 3D Blast. Okay, starting off with Tomb Raider 1. I started what I thought and possibly could still be a marathon of the Tomb Raider franchise. And so I started with the first game. I own it on the PlayStation 3 via the PS Classics line that they have on there. And I had started streaming it. My first time playing that was not good. I was so bored I was actually falling asleep while playing the game. It's, uh, it has not aged well. And after that first time I streamed it, I decided that I was not going to play it anymore. I think my problem with the game is that in a way to build atmosphere, the game decided to have almost no music, only deciding to use music for action scenes when you were fighting enemies or something like that. But nothing in that game, even the action scenes when you're fighting uh, animals, is that exciting. It just, it, it's kind of sad to say that the game just hasn't aged well. And nothing feels good to, to control. Nothing feels very action-packed or even really satisfying to do. And even the puzzle and the more methodical aspects of the game, which are enjoyable for other reasons other than action, don't really feel that intuitive so at first I, I felt like I'm not going to be doing this this marathon after all this weird. game is just too boring I just went through the first two levels and I was falling asleep Oh shit! however I went back to it on my own on the PC I also owned the first game on PC but that Version's kind of difficult to record. But I went back to it and I started playing it. And I started to kind of get into it once I realized what it is that I was doing. And uh, it didn't help that uh, while I was streaming it that I had gotten stuck at one point. And I didn't know what I was doing. Once you get a handle on how things are going and how some of the logic of the game works. It's still... Antiquated as all hell, but I was still able to find myself having a little bit of enjoyment. So, with that in mind, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can possibly get to streaming this, the, the game again. I actually did try to stream it again once I had decided that, yeah, I'll keep on doing this, but my OBS decided that it wanted to record it in really janky frame rate and uh, glitches all over the screen for some reason, even though the game itself was fine. So I don't know why that is. Maybe he was just having a bad day, but we'll see. I'll probably return to it somehow once I get the issues I was having streaming it fixed. Uh, probably we'll stick to the PlayStation 3 version, though. Again, the PC version is kind of hard to record for me because it's an old DOS game. You'd probably have to mod it. And I have modded the game because parts of the game just don't work right unless you do. Um, but I don't know. I think just so I don't have to worry about um, authenticity because that's kind of what I want. I'll stick to the PlayStation 3 version because we'll stick with the janky graphics, janky resolution, all that stuff. Because that's how the game originally was and that's how I want to experience it since... The point of the Tomb Raider Marathon is to play through all the games, which I have not done. 
That is the point. Next up, we have Borderlands 3. Uh, not much to, do, uh, to say about this. Uh, I played it for Rented Games Live, and I really enjoyed it. Whoa, uh, that's not surprising to me. I've always liked the Borderlands series, although I've never finished any of them because they're very long games. More on that in a bit. But yeah, I really enjoyed playing Borderlands 3. I liked the new world. I liked the characters. The uh, new siren in the game is a lot of fun. I enjoy her... Uh, Confident, snarky attitude. And uh, some of the characters, though, I'm not familiar with, and that's because I never really touched uh, the pre-sequel, nor did I finish Tales from the Borderlands. Um, but again, I'm going to get into that a bit later. Uh, I ultimately stopped playing it, though, because I decided on something that I'm going to be doing. Again, more on that in a little bit later. I should have maybe held off on talking about this game until I can explain what I'm talking about. But I'll be there in just a moment. Uh, next, Mortal Kombat 11. I, once again, Mortal Kombat 11 is my go-to recurring game. Play a little bit more of it. Um, I've started learning Johnny Cage. Starting to get into him. Uh, he seems really, really good. Like, I played a little bit of Johnny Cage beforehand. But now that I'm really taking the time to learn his stuff, learn... Um, even more combos than what I did before. He may be like the weakest of like the cage characters in the game, but at least in the cage family, Sonya Blade and, and uh, Cassie included. He is still remarkably prolific, I think, in his, in the way that he fights. And he has a lot of opportunities with his, his even his like his moves that seems like they would be just gimmicks. Like uh, like the camera flash or uh, his stunt double thing, or even the glasses throwing the glasses. Like how how does that move lead to combos? And yet it does. Uh, next up, Borderlands One. Here's where I get to talk about what I'm talking about. A lot of uh, Borderlands Three, I decided to stop because one, I didn't really have the money to buy the game at the time. I just had rented it, but. Also, I decided since playing that game and I wasn't like getting a lot of the characters and everything, I decided, you know what, I should do something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is Marathon Borderlands. I have always enjoyed the Borderlands uh, series. I played one, I played two. I never touched uh, um, pre-sequel, but I did enjoy uh, Tales from the Borderlands, although I never finished that one either. I pretty much played all of them except for pre-sequel. And Borderland Legends, it's some weird mobile game or something. So I decided, you know what, let's do something that I've always wanted to do. Let's actually play through these games. Now, I had a uh, kind of a hard time deciding what I was going to do. At first, I started playing the Xbox 360 version. Because that was the original one that I played it on and everything like that. But I also noticed that, I don't know, it felt like it was, it felt old. And then I went on my PC version because I used to play that version and I had actually almost gone through that version at one point about two years ago. Or two, maybe it was three years ago, I can't remember. And <laughs> it turns out, I never knew this, the Xbox 360 version is in 30 FPS. It's not in 60. It's 720 30. In uh, the PC version, at least for me, I can run in 1080 uh, 60. So I thought I would play that, especially because it was the Game of the Year edition, so it included all the DLC, which, which as I don't have the DLC in 360 version. Then I realized that because I had the Game of the Year edition on the PC, I also had the recently released enhanced version of Game of the Year edition for the first Borderlands. So I tried to play that on my PC, but my PC can't run it because of all the extra stuff that they added onto it. <laughs> Um, eventually, what I've decided to do is, because I'm smart, I bought the PlayStation 4 version, and I'm going to stream that. I've decided that I'm going to be a Borderlands channel for a while, which should be good because I won't have to think about what to play for the stream for a while now, because Borderlands is a long game. you got to play through it multiple times. There's, the DLC is all included, so it makes it... You know, a viable game to play for a while. 
I decided I'm going to be marathoning the Borderlands games on the side along with the Tomb Raider series and probably newer games as they come off on the side and maybe some more combat. Uh, moving on, Double May Cry HD on the PlayStation 4. Um, I started a second playthrough of Devil May Cry on, on stream. Um, I'll get to that when I get to that because uh, it's the same game with just more enemies thrown at you. And that's more annoying than fun, honestly. But I've gone through the first three levels, so it'll happen when it happens. WWE 2K20 on the PlayStation 4. I rented this game because I wanted to see all the crazy bugs and glitches that the game supposedly had. By the time I got it from Gamefly, it was patched. And I didn't get any of that. The closest I got was one time a character's face went through the ropes instead of being in between them. But that was it. It didn't even look that weird. I didn't get any of the weird hair texture stuff or like the the ring eating the wrestlers. None of that. So it was kind of disappointing because playing the game is uh, not great. It, it's not terrible, but it's... I can tell where it's missing features and missing content that otherwise would have been there, and it's just not quite right. It plays the same as it did like back in 2012 or something like that, which is the last time I played a game in the WWE's franchise. So, and that was last generation. That is not good. Luckily, um, I played Real Belt Fate of Fury because I've been in a Terry Bogard mood for a while now. I played Fit of Fury 3 uh, a couple of, a couple of uh, gaming landscapes ago, I believe. And uh, yeah, I played that game, got good at it. I'm thinking of maybe streaming that and just being like, hey, let's see if we can get through the game with all the characters. Why not? Why won't people watch this old fighting game? I don't know. Let's just do it. Um, but yeah, I had like a day where I just played a whole bunch of that, played Terry, uh, and, uh, just, I had a great time because that's just a fun fighting game. It feels a little antiquated now, specifically with uh, how the characters move. It's a little slow, but like the lane switching is really fun. It's interesting. Although I think they did it better in the later games, um, Real Ball Fatal Fury Special and Real Ball Fatal Fury 2. Where it's just two lanes and you can both fight on both lanes. Where it's just when you can just kind of counter attack and dodge. And that's it. Uh, the last two games, Mortal Kombat and Sonic 3D Blast, uh, this past weekend, I decided to have a uh, specific on Saturday night. I, I had a Sega Genesis night and I played those two games on my Sega Genesis. Just for fun. Um... Try to play uh, through Mortal Kombat 1 on the Genesis. I'm very hard. Was not going to happen. The computer just is sick of your shit as soon as fight 2. And after that, it just starts inputting, reading, input reading the hell out of you. Uh, Sun 3D Blast. I still really enjoy that game a lot more than I probably should. I still find it fun. I still can get through the Chaos Emerald sections really easily. It's just a lot of fun. I can't help it. I enjoy that game, and I don't care what anyone says, even as a Sonic fan. And those are all the games that I played this past week. Uh, let's talk about the games that I picked up, though. Uh, most, if not all, these games. Let's see. Let's look at this list. Mm. Yeah, all of these were free games, I believe. It's been uh, three weeks, so that sort of makes sense. Yeah, okay, so uh, I got free games from the Epic Game Store, so that includes Costume Quest, Soma, uh, Nuclear Throne, and Ruiner. I got the free games from uh, Twitch Prime. That was Double Cross. These are all PC games, by the way. Uh, Double Cross, Dark Side 2, Definitive Edition. Which is nice because I already got the War Master Edition of the first game. Uh, Planet Alpha, Sword Legacy, Omen, and Turmoil. 
I got the free game from Games Games with Gold on the Xbox 360, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, which is actually an Xbox, original Xbox title. And then I got the two free uh, games from the PlayStation via PlayStation Plus, Outlast 2, and Neo, which is a great game. That's a nice pick. Um, PlayStation definitely had the better games this month. Uh, other than that, I haven't bought anything. Uh, oh, no, wait. Duh. I bought uh, Borderlands. <laughs> Why is that not on the list? Um, yeah, I bought Borderlands Game of the Year Edition on PlayStation 4. And uh, that was it, though. So, that is the one entry. You should have seen those games on the screen right now. Other than that, that is everything that's been going on in my gaming landscape. Now, I want to know what's been going on with you. Please let me know the games that you've been playing and how you've been enjoying them, your thoughts on them in the comments section, as well as games that you added to your collection. It could be digital, it could be physical, doesn't matter. I don't think it's gonna matter from now on. I think, you know, the, the industry is going in the digital format primarily. So we should be getting used to seeing screenshots of people's libraries from, you know, the, uh, the, the Twitch page or the uh, Epic Games Store page, you know, library, PlayStation 4 library, you know, wherever it is that you're getting it from. And with that being said, this has been another episode of My Gaming Landscape. I have more time now to play games. Uh, things have uh, changed for me, my situation. So I'll be able to play more games and I should hopefully be streaming more. So you should hopefully get a gaming landscape next week. Um, you probably will anyway, because maybe I'll try to make these a little bit shorter. See how that, how that goes. And maybe it's better if I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Maybe it's better if it's just weekly, because it could be more updated. We'll try that out. With that being said, this has been My Gaming Landscape for October 21st through November 10th, 2019. I have been Colorwin. Peace and love, gamers and players. Fight on.